What's going on NDM crew? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I got a little bit of a engine build station here, uh, which means we're finally doing some more technical stuff on uh, that LS engine that we finally just got uh, torn down. Specifically, we're going to be talking, a bu talking about uh, a trunnion kit. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. Let's just uh, dive right in and uh, we'll hopefully fix that. So as I mentioned just now, we're doing a trunnion kit upgrade. Now there's a few things that we're gonna focus on in this video. Um, so ultimately, what a trunnion kit upgrade is, um, has to do with the rocker arms here. Um, so ultimately, these kits um, are something that's widely talked about when you're doing engine builds, um, or LS engine builds, um, specifically um, when you're looking at revving engines a little bit higher. If you're just doing a stock rebuild um, and you're not really going for too much performance, um, it's not something that would be talked about too much. Um, but uh, in our case, uh, we are going to be putting in a little bit beefier of a cam, so it is something that's going to have higher lift, um, and the engine itself is going to be something that we're going to be tuning to rev a little bit higher. So in this case, it's going to be a little bit of security, a little bit of peace of mind for us, um, and we'll talk about that um, right now. So ultimately, what a trunnion kit is, um, if we look at the rocker arm here, um, there is this trunnion bearing. So if you see in the middle here, and I'll see if I can get a shot, I'll probably get some other extra shots uh, that we can uh, look at right now, but there is a trunnion uh, bearing right in the middle here. Um, and ultimately, this is what the rocker arm pivots off of, is these bearings here. So as you have higher lift, as you're revving higher, puts extra stress and strain on this bearing here. Now the type of bearing um, that this is, is actually a needle bearing, but it's an open needle bearing. Uh, I don't know the technical term for it, um, but ultimately what that means is as you're revving higher, um, and as you have, have higher lift and the strain on this bearing gets higher, the, pot the potential of these end caps, there's a cap here, there's a cap on this side, the potential of these caps actually coming loose um, and working themselves out um, is higher. Um, and the issue with that is if because of um, like the floating needles that are in there, once this cap comes off, the needles are actually going to be going all over your engine um, and causing a lot bigger issues. So what these trunnion kit upgrades are, um, you are ultimately replace um, this intersection this intersection in here and then the bearings on the sides um, with something that's uh, either an enclosed bearing um, or uh, there is an option to do a solid uh, bushing uh, trunnion kit upgrade. Now these kits here, these upgrades are fairly inexpensive and if you're going to be doing a build I would suggest that this is something that you definitely look into. Um, ultimately it's not going to be something that is going to you know, put your build um, out of budget kind of thing. Like for example, the kit we're using today is a Brian Tooley racing kit. It's their version two, so it's a little bit more expensive than their V1 kit. Um, their V2 just has a little bit um, better oiling, so I figured that would just be a better option for me. Um, ultimately, I think the price difference was maybe $30, $40 between them. And it was Canadian currency less than $200 for this kit. Um, or sorry, just over $200 for this kit, just under uh, $200 uh, US uh, for the kit. So it's ultimately not going to be something that's going to push your, again, push your budget over the top. Um, so it is something to look into and we're actually going to install these and I'm going to run you through the steps. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward um, and we're going to do that right now. Okay, before we dive in, I'm just going to go over what you're going to need to actually install um, your upgraded trunnion kit. To start off, we're going to need um, your actual trunnion kit itself. Um, you're going to need a good pair of snap ring pliers. You're going to need, I would suggest using and wearing gloves, some uh, lint-free towels, um, some shop rags, something like that would be beneficial as well. Um, you're going to need a 13 mil and a 22 mil um, half inch socket. 
you're gonna need some brake clean or some parts cleaner. Um, if you have like an actual, um, like one of those units, those parts cleaner units, you can uh, use that. If you don't have the luxury, we're just gonna use a little container and then some uh, parts and brake cleaner there. And lastly, actually not lastly, we're gonna need some um, either assembly lube or um, just engine oil, you can use that. Um, and you're gonna need a vise of some sort or a press. So you can use a vise like we have right here. You can use um, like an actual hydraulic pneumatic press, um, but you're gonna need something to actually press these bearings out and put the new ones and press the new ones in. So um, that's what we're gonna need. Um, and let's just get started in terms of the process. All right, with one rocker arm upgraded, we're gonna go through these steps right now. So the first step is obviously to press out our old trunnion setup. So let's do that. We're gonna use, again, a 13 millimeter socket. That is going to be the socket that actually presses and goes through the bearing to um, get everything out of there. And then we're gonna use a 22 mil socket on the other side. As you can see here, there's flat edges on one side of the rocker arm. And that's where we're gonna be resting this socket up against. So it has a spot to actually sit. And then we're gonna be getting the 13 mil on the other side and we're gonna push it through. Now, with the actual vise that I have here, it's not really the greatest. Having a press where you can actually sit this rocker arm directly on and then put this right on top and push it out is a lot easier and convenient. But obviously, if you don't have that, you can't use it. Um, in my situation, the vise that I have isn't actually hard mounted to this table, which is making it a little bit difficult to do, but hey, we'll get it done. Um, so let's press this out and then we'll move to getting the new one in. Just a quick disclaimer, the install process that I'm going to be going through today may be slightly different depending on what kit you have. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're going about your Trunnion kit install. With the stock Trunnion bearings removed, we can move to the next step. We're gonna start by cleaning off the rocker arm and I'll adding some assembly lube or oil to the bearing mating surfaces and one of the bearings included in your kit. Now, we're gonna install the bearing on one side, ensuring the letters of the bear on one side of the bearing is facing outwards. Um, and there will be some um, flat washers or um, parts included in the actual kit to assist with this installation. With the bearing installed on one side, we're gonna add some assembly lube to the actual center section and the other bearing. We have to install the center section first um, and then we're going to press the other side of the bearing in, again, making sure the lettering on that bearing is facing outwards. Um, this is going to actually enclose that center section, um, keeping it in place. Just note when you're pushing in the final bearing, um, you have to make sure that everything is lined up correctly as the bearing might not fully seat. Um, but once we have the bearings on both sides completed, installed, we're gonna add the washer as well as the snap rings, and that's it. Your trunnion bearing install is complete. The only thing that's left is to repeat this process on 15 more rockers and you'll be good to go. Make sure you guys take your time, be patient. Uh, it did take me a few hours to do this, um, but hopefully it will be worth it in the end and we won't have any issues down the line. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay classy, crew.